Hey guys, I'm Josiah, and guess what? Yes, today we're going to talk about Captain Marvel, the savior of womankind. She is coming up in just a couple weeks, and we have to talk about it because this is the big news of the day. And let's go ahead and see on Rotten Tomatoes exactly how the, uh, the score is going for this movie. Oh my goodness, 28% want to see this movie. <laughs> That means that 72% of users do not want to see this movie. Out of 43,000 people, almost 44,000 people. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. It brings joy to my heart to see that because it means that people are waking up. It means that people are noticing that Brie Larson is a racist and a sexist. People are thinking for themselves and they're like, yo, I don't want to go support this movie. This woman is a nut job and she does not deserve my money. She does not deserve my support. This is what happens, Brie Larson, when you call out an entire race and an entire gender and say that you don't care about us, that you don't like us, that you don't want us to um, give our opinions about your movie and all that stuff. And when you say things like that, we are going to respond and we are responding. The mainstream media is flailing, they're screaming, they're kicking. They are not liking the fact that we are standing up against this movie. They're writing articles about us that are saying that we're trolling and we're sexists and we're just a bunch of misogynists and a bunch of racists and whatever else they want to throw at us because that's all they do is they just call us names trolls and cells they they love they love calling us that because that's that's all that they're good for when they're when you have an npc brain you can't properly come up with an argument all you can do is just throw insults at people who are standing up to this movie i'm sure marvel is at least marvel has to be panicking a little bit at this point. Kevin Feige is probably sitting in his office right now and he's rubbing his head and he's like, what on earth did I do? <laughs> oh man, I, I don't know. I still think, I at this point, I still think it's going to do around 85 million opening weekend, but man, the likelihood of that is dropping. 28%, only 28% of users out of 43,000 people want to see this movie. Holy cow, this has never happened before for a Marvel movie. And in fact, I haven't seen this happen with a blockbuster movie in a long time. And I can't even remember the last time that I've seen it this low for a blockbuster movie. This is bad news for Captain Marvel. And I'm starting to think that this movie is actually going to do bad in the box office. I still think opening weekend might do pretty solid. The overall box office for this film, I don't think it's going to do very well. I just, I'm starting to actually think that, and it's crazy. It's actually crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and see what um, what some of the, the, uh, the people are saying. Let's see if we can catch any new people here. Um, this was from yesterday. Not interested, not my cup of tea. Okay, fair. I think it's going to be really a filler to Avengers. Could be. Um, you know, honestly... When they first announced Captain Marvel, I was pretty excited about it. The um, the little teaser that they gave at the end of Infinity War for this movie got me pretty excited for this movie. I was I was all on board for this movie, and then they they dropped the first trailer, and I was like, what on earth am I watching right now? And honestly, there's nothing that they are giving for this movie that is exciting. The fans, there's nothing about this movie that is that is giving us a chance to be geeked out about this movie. All of this movie is is just a agenda piece, and it's ridiculous. Trailer have done nothing for me. The, the third got my attention, and the horrible train scene released with horrendous cinematography, terrible fight choreography, bad lighting, flat colors, and nonsense camera work killed it for me. Nope, not interested. And yeah, I I totally agree with that. You know, some of the some of the uh, the clips that they've shown of the movie so far, like the one with the supreme intelligence and the train scene, all that stuff. All of those clips are just, they, they don't look good. They don't look like the same standard quality that Marvel has given us for the past few years. It looks like a, it looks like a movie made by a fan, it looks like a fan film made by someone who loves Marvel, and it, it looks terrible. It looks absolutely terrible. 
you know, a lot of people are saying that they're just not interested. They're they're saying that this movie looks boring. This movie does not look that good. And I totally agree. That is what happens when you make a movie that is about identity politics. It is not going to be a good movie, and people are starting to see through the, the smoke that you're trying to put up. I don't fight... <laughs> This is beautiful. I don't fight wars. I end them. That's a quote from uh, Captain Marvel. How do you end a war without fighting in it? This line says it all. No thanks. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Anyway, this is beautiful to see, and uh, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in these next few weeks. It's going to be a very, very fun time. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will talk to you very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.